alliances come and go, but partnership uh, stay and sustain. In your opinion, what are some of the problems and challenges that the international governance system, with UN as its core, of course, are facing nowadays? And also, we know that both China and Russia are permanent members of the United Nations Security Councils. So, in your opinion, how do you think we can cooperate and jointly to deal with those challenges? I would start uh, saying that the basic challenge to the international governance is uh, governance is discussion of real root causes of problems. It's uh, not an easy discussion, not an easy debate, and only uh, few. Uh, big powers, uh, including Russia and China, they have not only power but also courage to promote the discussion of real root causes of problems. And one of the root causes of conflicts nowadays is interventions into sovereign affairs. Unfortunately, a number of countries they uh, prefer this way of uh, dealing with uh, uh, different issues. And not preferring uh, fair competition, fair economic competition, and politicizing the economic cooperation. So these are, these are the root uh, uh, causes that we're trying to address. Together with China, we're also trying to promote uniting agenda. Unfortunately, some uh, countries, including the donor countries of the United States and European countries. They often like to approach the discussions in the way I call it my way or highway. It's not the solution. In this regard, uh, we're trying to listen to our partners, uh, but we want also them to listen to us, and that is difficult. And of course, when it's a principal position, a fundamental position, uh, we Russia and China often uh, coincide totally in our approaches. In recent years, China and Russian relationships has made significant progress,、uh, and we have always maintained partnership rather than alliance, which is very different from United States diplomatic strategies. And what do you think are some of the considerations that have been based on for such partnership? I definitely agree with you that the partnership is a long-term solution. Alliances come and go, but partnership. Uh, stay and sustain the cause.、Uh, our bilateral dialogue with China is becoming particularly important、uh, on the international scene today. When some Western states are trying to demolish the UN-centric system of international law, I also mentioned already the rules-based order that、uh, some colleagues are trying to、uh, put instead of international law. Moscow and Beijing、uh, consistently advocate、uh, the creation of a more equitable, democratic, and therefore stable polycentric international order.、Uh, this system should reflect the cultural and civilizational diversity of the modern world. That's that's natural, and the striving of nations to independently determine their future and their development path. So、um, the, the very、uh, fact of the Russian-Chinese、uh, cooperation and accord on the issue as、um, and our common positions and partnership serves to stabilize and balance the entire system of international relations. It, it opens up, of course, broad opportunities for a truly equitable and free cooperation between large and small countries who jointly、uh, shape their historical destiny. You rightfully noted that、uh, we have strategic partnership, and it's one of our top priorities. By the way, I,、uh, before becoming the deputy permanent representative here, I served as a G20 Sosherpa of Russia, and、uh, I started、uh, during the Chinese chairmanship in the G20 in, in 2016, and I enjoyed、uh, good cooperation with my Chinese colleagues during the chairmanship. Where we promoted the same approach, the、uh, the summit and the chairmanship,、uh, the presidency of China in G20 was a big event and big process, important with a lot of、uh, important results. And、uh, as me and as colleagues in China, 
uh, we both uh, were happy to work together because I knew these colleagues, they also work in the UN uh, platform and in G20 platform, a lot of uh, uh, common grounds. So it was not only, you know, uh, working uh, cooperation, but also personal good interaction. And in 2020, China has also announced a reduction of extreme poverty. We have also fought through the pandemic and became the only major major economy in the world that has achieved a positive economic growth in the past years. So in your opinion, what's the most important reason behind this? I should say that the eradicating power is uh, sustainable development goal number one full-heartedly supported by Russia and China delegations. The economic issues and issues of sustainable development are discussed uh, mostly in the General Assembly. And uh, in the General Assembly, uh, Russia and China has, uh, have different initiatives, including the initiatives of resolutions. And the one initiative by China I would like to note today is the promotion of a resolution uh, named uh, Eradicating Rural Poverty. And I think addressing the rural poverty, uh, poverty uh, in the regions, that is one of the key success of economic development uh, uh, that we have seen. I would also like to note that uh, it's also a, a pleasure for me to work personally with, uh, uh, with the first Deputy Permanent Representative of China, Dai Bing, with uh, Permanent Representative, His Excellency Mr. Jin, and uh, with other members of the Chinese delegations, because this, they are not only experienced professionals, but also tirelessly working people. They always work. They always work. <laughs> I don't know when they sleep. Uh, so this is um, uh, this is a very important uh, issues, and of course, addressing the pandemic, uh, COVID-19, is one of the key issues which we cooperate. We have a number of resolutions, and one of them is omnibus resolution, as we call it, like a holistic resolution. And uh, there were a lot of common approaches. Um, to, together with China, we uh, successfully promoted. One of them is one of the core principles of the UN, is the duty to cooperate. Unfortunately, not all the countries nowadays want to adhere to this duty, especially with their unilateral sanctions approach. But the duty to cooperate remains our North Star. <laughs>